Skill cannot be imparted. You don't lay hands on someone and say, now be a pilot. <laughs> Go and fly. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have done that many years ago and be flying by myself. <laughs> it would be cheaper anyway. And then all the pastors around me just lay hands on you. Now you're a pilot. You're a pilot. And now take me straight to Lagos. <laughs> <laughs> there was one time our pilots misbehaved and one of my sons in the law said let me go for training I said before you finish I will have finished my job <laughs> because before you are qualified to be a captain you must have flown 3,000 hours <laughs> so I can't wait for you <laughs> you know <laughs> that's why we have very low key leadership rating among many it is not it, it is not an endowment it's an accomplishment it is not in the title we wear it's in the values we carry and add in our field now, now <laughs> so I have come to define management therefore as the product of efficient management of self, of task, of material and human resources. Efficient management of self. So leadership begins with efficient management of yourself. <laughs> efficient management of yourself. And that corroborates scriptures. He said, if a man does not know how to rule his house, how shall he rule the church of God? First Timothy 3, 5. So it begins with you. What does this entail? Management. Management simply here entails knowing where you are going. Knowing what it takes to get there. Committing yourself to getting there. And going the extra mile if it so demands to get there. Let me come again. Management of self here connotes knowing where you are going, knowing what it takes to get there, committing yourself to getting there, and going the extra mile if it so demands to get there. Management of self. It's not about drawing a schedule on when to play golf, when to play lawn tennis. That's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know, because until your field is defined, your leadership potential can never have expression. There are many people operating in undefined field. Undefined. They are this now. Next week they have jumped to that. The other week they have moved to this. And so they are jack of all trades. One road does not lead to the market. That's their concept. So they go through all the roads. And when you are traveling more than one road per time, you never get anywhere. You go here small, you come back, you go here small, you come back, you go here, you come back. So <laughs> that's what management of self entails. First, a discovery of your field which is a task on its own. How many agree with that? <laughs> Not just a discovery, but a discovery and a commitment to abide in your field. You see, I've been doing this stupid thing I'm doing 28 years. Amen? <laughs> and that's the only thing I've been doing 28 years. Nothing else has had any attraction to me. And many people go through their life without ever knowing where they are going. They are just going every waking morning to another job. And the following day, another job. Another advert, another job. And they go jobbing and jobbing and jobbing and arriving nowhere. You are a creature of dignity. You know, he said, I know my plans for you, says God. The plans of welfare are not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. So it's important to settle down and discover your place in that master plan. It's a glorious plan. 
Jeremiah 29 11. It's a glorious plan. It's a glorious plan. To discover it and abide in it takes a lot of discipline. Takes what? A lot of discipline. To discover it and abide in there takes a lot of discipline. When I'm, our church was still under 50 people, I said one day in one of the meetings, I said, I will consider it a demotion if I were invited to President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I will consider it a demotion. Church was under 50. But I was so sure of my field that I will not sell off for anything. My birthright is precious to me. My future is in his plan, not in my plan. Somebody here know what I'm talking about. Today I've had the privilege of presidents of nations knocking on my door for attention, not for arrest. <laughs> I've had the privilege of re resolving major issues between government and oppositions in my house on their request. I've never been a party till I die. It's so important for each one of us to know you are not a creature of chance. You are a creature of destiny. There is something about your life that is awaiting your discovery. You need to know where you belong and abide there. Then knowing what it takes to get there is a greater task. Come on, say greater task. Knowing what it takes to get there is a greater task. Many know where they are going, but they don't know what it takes to get there. So they are always in the, on the same spot because they don't know what it takes to get 